A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video, we will experience real-time communication with Apex push notifications, enabling seamless interaction between Apex applications and users on both desktop and mobile devices. These notifications greatly enrich your end users experience by delivering instant updates and alerts, even when they are not actively using the application. Setting up push notifications in Apex is a breeze, offering a no-code, declarative approach to sending notifications through a native page process. For developers seeking more customization, the Apex PWA API allows for smooth integration of notification sending into their existing workflow. Connecting with users who have opted in to receive notifications is now simpler than ever, thanks to the built-in settings page. Now let's get started. First, create a new application. Place a check mark on these two features. Click the button Create Application. To enable PWA and push notification in an application later on, you can perform the following steps. Click this Edit Application Definition button. Click this PWA tab. Turn on the Enable Progressive Web App, and Installable Switches. You can also apply a custom theme color for the PWA using this theme color option. Turn on the Enable Push Notifications switch. If you see the Generate Credentials button, instead of Regenerate Credentials button, then click the button. Setting up push notifications securely necessitates the use of credentials, specifically, a public and private key pair is employed, the former enables users to subscribe to push notifications on the client side, while the later allows the server to send notifications to the subscribed users. Now, create a new user. Click the option Manage Users and Groups. Click the button Create User. Enter a username. This username is case sensitive. Type an email address. Scroll down, and fill in the fields of password. And confirm password. After creating the user, open your application and create a new page. Select blank page option. Set the following page creation attributes. After creating the page, create a new static content type region. This region will hold three text field type page items created next. Create the following text field type page items. In this first item, we will type the name of the user we created. Create another page item. This page item will hold the title of the notification. Create the last page item. This item will hold the body of the push notification, which we will send to the end user John. Create a new button. 
When this button is clicked, the notification will be sent to the selected user. Under the Processing tab, create a new process. Set type to send push notification, this option sends a push notification to a user, all devices in which the user is signed into will receive the notification. Under the settings section, enter this substitution string, to display the username of the application user who should receive the push notification. This second substitution string will display the title of the push notification. And the body substitution string will display the body of the notification. Scroll down to message section. If the process runs and does not generate an error, then this process success message will be displayed in the notification section of the page. Enter the error message for this process. This message displays if an unhandled exception is raised. And select the button we created for when button pressed property. Save your work. Now run the application. Open another browser, for example Microsoft Edge. And open the same application in it, using the credentials of the new user, John. Under the settings option, turn on the option receive push notification on this device. Open the two sessions side by side. In the user text field, enter John, this username is case sensitive. You have to provide it in the same case you created it in the database. Otherwise you will not receive the push notification. Enter a title. And a message to display in the notification. Click the button Send Notification. It might take a minute or two, to receive the push notification, so be patient. Here you go, the push notification is sent successfully to the user John. Now, let's test this same push notification on a mobile. As you can see that the push notification appears on mobile device. Now, we are sending an application update message to John, who is currently offline, and is not using the application. As you can see the notification appears on John's mobile device, although he is offline. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Keep in touch with Tech Mining to have more new videos like this. Thank you for watching.